go to 1 Timothy, the fourth chapter, and it makes it plain about certain men, quote, quote, of God or men of religion that can get us to walking down Primrose Lane. Let's go to verse 3 uh, of 1 Timothy 4. I better go to speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. In other words, they're into their own thoughts. There's no doubt about it. They don't want to listen. They just want to do their thing. Now listen, third verse. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meat. Here's the key right here. This is the verse I want to... Now, forbidding to marry, commanding to abstain from me, but please underline these verses, in, which God hath created to be received. Okay? He's told you what you should receive and what you should not receive. Not only that, with thanksgiving. Of them which believe and know the truth. So we can, whether the buzzard, whatever, I want you to see it. For every creature of God is good. You know, sometimes folks shoot certain animals because somebody told them that no, every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused. Now that's where the trouble gets. If being, if it be received with thanksgiving. Now that's a total mistranslation. That's what gets everybody. God has already told you. It's like he told Peter. What I claim, don't you call common. Pure and simple. Now, don't come back with no religiosity. Talking about if it's received with thanksgiving. No. Yea and nay. God has already clearly stated. This is what you can eat. This is what you should not eat. And I would encourage you, those who, who don't mind digging a little deeper, if you will, look it up for yourself. Don't just believe. Look at the translation in the Greek. Break it down. And see that God, God said we should be thankful for God in all things. But what happens is we allow folks to tell us what, and then we'd rather believe them instead of God and end up in difficulty. We're about through for this. Let me cover a few more things. We're at, we're at in Leviticus, verse 11, verse 12. Now let's see, let's see here. Whatsoever has no fins or scales in the water, they shall be abomination of thee, to the, unto you. And these are they which you shall have in abomination among the fowls. We've covered them in Deuteronomy, but we're going to hit them again. They shall not be eaten. They are an abomination, the eagle, the ostrich, and the osprey, and the vulture, and the kite, after his kind. Every raven after his kind, and the owl, and the night hawk, and the duckacoo, and the hawk after his, his kind, and the little owl, and the cormorant, and the great owl. We want to make sure you have a good understanding of what God is saying. We can't change it, church. We can only do exactly what God tells us to do. And then... Don't let no man tell you about Thanksgiving. I want to get to at least the 20th verse or the 21st verse so when we come back again, we'll know where to start. And the swan, and the pelican, and the gear eagle, and the stork, and, and the heron, and after her kind, and the lapwig, and the bat, and the fowls that creep going up upon all fours. And the fowls that creep and going on all fours shall be an abomination to you. Yet these
may you eat of every flying, creeping thing that goeth upon all fours, which have legs above their feet to leap with all upon the earth. Listen very closely. Even these of them you may eat. We're talking about insects and stuff. Some of us probably wouldn't eat no locusts. The locusts, after his kind, and the ball locust, after his kind, and the beetle, after his kind, and the grasshopper, after his kind. But of all other flying, creeping things, which have four feet shall be an abomination unto you. Very important that we focus in on these things. And of these you shall be unclean. Whatsoever touches the carcass of them shall be unclean unto Eve. Parents, please get that. I'm going to stop there. When your son be bringing in all kinds of little insects, make sure you get him to wash his hands. It'll be a lot healthier for him. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for instructing us as to what we can and cannot eat. We hope that we'll be able to finish this, Lord, but only you can. So as we study this, give us all an unction that we understand what thus says the Lord and not the traditions of man. Father, we thank you for your word. We praise you. We magnify you and we lift you up. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.